Hey everybody, it's Tom the Frugal Prepper. I'm out here in the garage again, doing some work. Now uh, the school bus didn't come back. It's doing great, but uh, it is finally time to redo oh, this electric coming out here. So I got this. Uh, I got 30 amp service coming in here to this panel, and then this had 20 amp fuses in it because whoever wired it up, I discovered. Um, only put 12 gauge wire up to this separate little fuse panel and of course it has to be on a 30 amp fuse 10 gauge and then I put a 20 amp circuit off the other leg of it um, for my air compressor my little Harbor Freight one um, and so I'm just getting all this tore out and um, I had a uh, squared EQO load center but by the time I priced out the breakers, it was cheaper just to pay 17 bucks to get this little six position home light square D, which isn't as good as stuff, but it's good enough for my uses. Then I got the breakers, because the breakers are only a few bucks a piece. Got some 14 2 wiring, because I'm going to rerun some 15 amp circuits for just lights and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to run a 220 volt outlet over to here that's 20 amp um, so I'm gonna reuse this 12 gauge piece of wire so I didn't have to buy 20 again I bought the 14 I'll wire that 110 or 120 volt plug up for a 15 amp circuit off a of 14 gauge and then wire in my air compressor on the 240 volt so why do I need 240 volt for my air compressor well I got this bad boy check that out um, so I got this today um, well for free um, so my friend it was one of my friend he wasn't using it um, somebody has sticked up the wiring on it because they tried to make it work on 120 volts and they were rewiring everything and actually, these uh, Sentry motors can be wired for 120, but they didn't do it right, so it wasn't running right. So I'm going to get it all rewired for 240. You know, I actually have an extra Sentry motor that I just collected with my stuff back in the shed if the motor was bad. But um, it's a 5 horsepower. I don't even know how many gallons it is. Um, let's see what it says on here. 90 PSI, 60 gallon. And it's the belt drive. So that's a heck of an upgrade for my little 20 gallon Harbor Freight deal. Um, probably run a little quieter too. So this guy is going to actually end up right over there. So I just thought I'd kind of show you what I'm into. Um, you know, the, the service is existing. And so if I replace this main panel coming out here with the two fuses I would then have to isolate my ground to neutral and pull another wire into the house but if I leave this and I'm just upgrading after it with this panel so I'll feed off of here with the 10 gauge into the main lugs on this other panel then I can rewire that I don't have to isolate my ground to neutral because I am in non-grounded conduit and um, I am running to an outside building. So I think technically I have to put two ground rods in the ground by the outside building for modern code. Um, but if I'm just replacing the existing stuff after it, this stuff was installed way before that code existed. I'll be golden. And uh, all in all, I'm not going to have too much in all this. I think all this stuff here represented about $80. So I'm just going to. Re, uh, I have some of these that are old, but I'm just going to put new uh, NM, uh, NM connectors. Um, and I got some three quarter ones too. That's the three eighths ones. And um, I'm going to kind of change. So this light right here now runs off that 20 amp circuit. I'm going to change that over to its own 15 amp breaker. The mercury light outside is going to be on its own 15 amp breaker. And then. Um, I'm going to have my one plug mounted up here that's a dedicated 20 amp breaker um, where I'll still plug in my welder 
and then have the 240 volt circuit and then the rest of the garage will be wired as it is now just on a 20 amp breaker so um all fun times i'll kind of come back and show you how this all turns out when it's done or maybe i'll make a second video i don't know all right folks i'm slowly getting there to start to come together a little here so i've uh mounted the breaker box up here i'm getting all the wires run into it um put a new switch here in the mercury light switch because that was getting weak i got all the crap out of this box so i just have the two mains coming in at the top down at the bottom they loop back up and go and feed this box and so that's uh, 30 amps so that's we're in the 10 gauge up here to the main lugs um, then of course there's a breaker in the house that's 30 amp but I also have the two 30 amp fuses here um, that wiring down there is actually a traveler that's powered from in the house for one light here in the garage and the outside lights on the garage which is how I'm running the lights with an extension cord the overhead lights in the garage right now because the power is of course off I rewired this 20 amp plug it's going to be on its own dedicated breaker for my welder down here my little cheapy welder then I'm running uh, this piece of 14 gauge over and so that's going to actually end up powering this plug and that breaker will be dedicated to this plug and then this little light's going to be off of it as well. And that little light's got its own little built-in switch. A little pull cord. And then I'm going to rewire, uh, let's see if you can see, this junction box right here will get rewired so that that plug above my toolbox back there will be on its own dedicated 20 amp breaker. And that's also where my shed comes off of. And I got most of my lights running off of that, so that will be 20 amp run on 12 gauge. So it'll be a little have a little more amperage there. And then I'm gonna run the other piece of 14-2 to where that plug is, and that will be a 15 amp circuit. And then the piece of 12 that's there now comes back to that junction box. That's gonna become my 240 volt circuit for the air compressor. And so I've got a small piece of uh, 12 gauge there and that 12 I'm going to run one from the box up over into that junction box and then make the junction to the wire. If you can see it, it runs all the way up over here and back down to where that plug is. So um, that will then get converted to the 240 volt. And then I'll rewire that plug to be just a 15 amp 120 volt. So I'm getting there. It's getting late, but I'm gonna push through and just get it done. It's the weekend, so I can sleep in tomorrow. Though I do have church. We don't have evening church, so I might be going to late morning church. We'll see. If I miss church again, I'm probably going straight to hell. I haven't gone for two weeks. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get back to work, and I'll keep you updated. All right, uh, real quick here. We are back on garage power. Everything is wired up and working. I'll turn the mercury light on. Um... I've got uh, this on its own 15 amp breaker and that's actually tied into the mercury light as well and that and that back there is on its own 20 amp this little outlet back here and this outlet's now on its own 15 amp and then this over here is going to be where I hook up my compressor I just have the breaker turned off for now so I get it hooked up. Um, I flipped it on real quick to make sure it wasn't shorted or anything. So yeah, we're all set. So I'm gonna get the cover on this bad boy. 
and uh, go inside and relax and get some sleep. As you can see, I've got quite the mess of wiring crap everywhere to clean up. But I can clean up later. I just want to know that the darn thing works. And uh, I'm happy. I'll talk to y'all later, folks. This is Tom, the Frugal Prepper.